Marijuana is now legal for adult use in Massachusetts. Only people 21 or older can buy or use marijuana products. Now that marijuana is legal, parents are asking, what do we tell our kids? The cannabis sold today is much more potent. It's also available in a wider variety of products, like edibles and vaping devices that can appeal to your kids. But children's brains aren't fully developed until their mid-20s, and marijuana has been shown to impact brain development in youth. It can affect memory, cause learning problems, and increase risky behavior. One of the most valuable steps you can take is to talk with your kids about marijuana. You're probably already having discussions about alcohol, tobacco, and opioids. Now is the perfect time to add marijuana to that conversation. Listen to what your kids have to say. Make sure they know that you want them to be healthy and safe. Give them the facts, but set clear rules about marijuana use. By the way, if you have marijuana in your home, lock it up, out of reach and out of sight of children. For more tips on how to keep your kids safe, visit moreaboutmj.org. How was school? I'm so sick of 17. I'm over this teenage dream. If someone tells me one more time, enjoy your youth, I'm gonna cry. Music can help you express how you're feeling. When you can't find the language, find the lyrics.
Women are bad with money. That's what the world's been saying for centuries. But now, we've got something to say. Save it. Save the old-fashioned advice, the empty excuses. It's all worthless, unlike us. To our fellow females, it is time to save ourselves by saving our money. Contributing to our futures, investing in our independence. Until we're no longer 80%, 80%, 80% more likely than men to live in poverty in retirement. So again, we say to that, save it. The falsehoods, the feelings of fault. Then the funds. Learn how to save for your retirement at wesaysaveit.org. Jordan knows he shouldn't eat this entire bowl of nachos, but tonight he's earned that right. Because a few hours ago in the middle of happy hour, he recognized a sign. Not from the gods or a bolt of lightning, but from a double heart, a kissy face, and a fourth ha in ha ha ha. That's when Jordan knew he was buzzed. So when it was time to go, he got a ride home instead of driving. Be a legend like Jordan. Recognize your buzzed warning signs and get a ride home. Buzz driving is drunk driving.